Dave check. Yeah, Schmidt, if that's uh, you on the loadout, um, on the, the views, rather, going big or go home, some of you for the ones, bunker bus or penetrators. Reason for that, uh, here's where I'm at. Lar is here. I'm super light, uh, but these places, they need to get dealt with. So I'll be able to do some CAS in here. But uh, I need these guys so I can get here and penetrate bunkers. I came in from Kish. So more than a, uh, a third there, say halfway. And then I'm going to have relative, some degree of security. If, if I'm seeing any hostiles, I'm just going to go land at Lar and, uh, and do that. So it's going to be a good mix. Yeah, she's heavy. Also testing out all this, uh, this live streaming stuff, so it's a good practice. And the reason um, she's heavy is uh, described, but here's here's the secret, you know? I had a rough calculation, 3,000 pounds left until I get to Lara, more than halfway. I took off with 40% uh, fuel, which gave me just over 4,000 pounds. And so this way, I, I think I'm... I'm set up for best success. I've used um, a 500 pounder on a bunker in Iraq. And what we wanted to do is because there's two insurgents inside the bunker, and this was uh, to house a, um, a relatively small jet, so maybe like a French Mirage. And we used the 500 pounder as a GBU 12 to go right on the lip to try and entomb. And that's what the A 10 pilot said is entomb the people in the bunker. And it never happened. Like, there's obviously a wild explosion that's going to have a psychological effect. There's no doubt concrete all over the place. But, it like, to close the front door and entomb them? No, not at all. Um, I've seen 500-pounders go uh, become a dud and go into the ground. And it's not long, like a few feet into the ground, where the density of ground is so much that the weapon then just goes the path of least resistance and just skips back out of the ground and it's 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 awe inspiring so you really got to go super heavy to bust through uh um you know several feet of concrete
While I'm talking though, I should really X-Men 1 Dodge 1 1 request picture. I'm gonna grab a little bit of elevation here. I'm gonna start in orbit because in all this getting ready for a live feed, I haven't been able to actually put in the target location into my system. Magic one, uh, one, to waypoint. <clears throat> Let's cut the power back. So we don't have that much gas at all. The first place where we want to go to... Sorry, let's go here, like this. And... This, whatever this is, we gotta shack it. It's a 40R Bravo Romeo. And then, we said Bravo Romeo. Bear with me, I still got a case of the sniffles after Scotland. 457799. 457799. Bam. Uh, 3213 is the elevation they gave here. And 3209, that's fine. So let's go do that. Uh, flight plan manager. And we called it AAA. Let's go to AAA. Steer point for AAA, there we go, we're going to be there in three mics. Uh, definitely want to get a little bit of height on that. TGP. Uh, kind of hard to see, but we got some uh, busted up stuff over here. Just this house. I think that's the target. Let's hope this place is sanitized. Point track mode on that. Uh, the elevation that we're seeing, this is important. It's uh, 3,200 feet. And so to be out of manpad range, I really want to be at 13,000. Echo J, damn, why does Delta? And there's a tour. So. Let's just jam that. Ah, of course. Defending. It's going to be the shortest live stream ever. Let's go for the ground. Pull up, pull up. Oh, fuck. Wow. Just made it. Okay. That sucks. That changes things. We got a tour out there. Fantastic. And I'm heavy. What can I do about that? I think best thing to do is land. I'm going to take off uh, these weapons. I have to take care of that tour. Quick and dirty landing here. Anyone in the space? No. Let's get a landing. Free green. I'm really fast too. Just doing some flares, because who knows if anyone's on there. 
A10 final lar. 2-7. Three green full flaps. Altitude, altitude. Buck 60 on speed. That's fine. Oh, something sounded nasty back there. Hope it wasn't a tire blowing. I'm just gonna I'm heavy, so I'm gonna let her ride all the way down. If the speed breaks out. It's really not shit hot right now. I'll give some space here to that F sixteen. Where's this guy going? Sorry, I, was, I thought you were going to go ahead. No, I just got out of your way. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Just be advised uh, immediately north of here's a uh, tour on the other side of the hill. Wondering if this guy's doing uh It's not a seed mission though. If this works, removing payloads is actually going to keep these GBU-31s here at LAR. And then I want to go with something lighter with the Mavericks only. And just try and do something about the, uh, what do you call it, that Tor-15. Because that's bad news brown for me. If you're just joining the view again, just I got some time to kill right now. So if you got any JTAC and Kaz questions? I'd like to think I'm your guy. Magic one, one, passing waypoint Let's look at the resources we got over here air ground missiles. Yeah. Unfortunately, not, not much for me at all here. Refueling complete. With regards to bombs. 
some CPU 105s, which is great. We'll, we'll be able to work with that. And then laser guided bombs. I don't think there's anything here. What's our F15 friend here? Who knows where this guy's going? Oh, yeah. Rearming complete. Okay, so the rearming's, uh, that stuff is off. What I want to do is I'm just going to say two deltas per side. Can I do that? So if I go back into LAR, did my GPUs get in here? Resources, guided bombs. Yeah, I got five bombs there. Fantastic. So I'll remove this payload as well. So I can put uh, two Mavericks on one side and one will be on the, the right side of the bird just because there's distribution of weight. That should keep me nimble enough. What my goal is to engage with the tour and expand all his munitions and use terrain masking to survive. Request rearming. Helps if I do that. Copy. So while that's going on, flaps at half, readjust my trim, trim takeoff, that's good to go. I like how everything else is set on the... I have my jammer on. Let's put it back to standby. <clears throat> Rearming complete. Okay. Rearmor Rearmor complete. And so I've got a uh, one times delta. And then over here, I want to go... Air ground missiles, two deltas, perfect. And unfortunately, there's no APKWS. That's okay. Request rearming. <laughs> Excuse me. Copy. Again, for uh, Veterans Foundation called the Allied Forces Foundation last week. Marched uh, 90 kilometers or about 54 miles within 24 hours. It took me uh, 10 hours and change. And now my body's telling me, hey, we got to heal up. It's not having a good time, so a little sick under the weather. Rearming complete. All right, I like this. Now some guys come to see me. I swear to God, if this guy pops me in the face. Thank you, sir, for not popping me in the face. Magic one, one. Dodge, one, one. Request bogey dope. Dodge, one, one. Magic, one, one. Bra, zero, five, two, four, one, hundred, fifty, at eight thousand knots. All right, let's have a quick gander. Some dismounts moving around. But, uh, runaway looks clear. Okay, 4.7 fuel state. Mavericks, turn them on. Load the Dismiss, all stuff I should have done before this. Lined up. 50 knots. Nose wheel steering disengaged. There's my Mavs there. 
100 knots. Everything looks golden. There's the button. There's a buck 40. There's a C-130. Let's take off. Gear up. So again, I'm super uh, light. What I want to achieve right now is the destruction of a tour. And I've damaged my steering. There. I've got a, a wheel that's not doing so shit hot, so I'll just have to deal with it. <clears throat> well, first thing is I'm going to enable... Uh, what is it? China hat down. So now I've uh, made the priority my helmet mounted queuing system. <clears throat> what I want to do is visually acquire the tour firing at me. I'm not going to go super high. Because I want to use these mountains for the uh, Taurus missiles to hit me. Which is how I evaded them before. One of them just exploded just shy of me. It's just, uh, just crazy luck. So there's some Sams out there. I put into a slight climb here. There's my waypoint. Where's that tour though? Uh, there's a bunch of targets out there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's behind me. So that's my wing. The wing's 9 o'clock, and there's an RT in there, too. That sucks. Okay, that's not nice at all. What's that there? Okay, something's definitely there. I got a ground mode. Okay, sensor point of interest sent in. What's this? What is that? That is a bush. Congratulations. All right. I want to be careful here. Yeah, that's my tour. This is my target. Okay. Perfect. Let's get to work. So, in between the... Uh, immediately off my nose. East-West running ridge line. And that's what I want this guy to do, is to engage me. I want to dive down into this little valley. Come on, you. Okay, something's launched on me. It is the tour, or something up there. Use the energy to rise back up. What's in front of me here? A C-130. That's not gonna go well for that guy. C-130 in vicinity of Lar. If you're going north of Lar over the east-west running, uh, Area, be advised there's a tour and an RT in there. Man, that 
C-130 is going to get smoked. Right, something just hit up there. Is that where the C-130 crashed? <clears throat> there's two things out there yeah well, there's the tour and, and these guys are busy I just head back out there just keep wasting their stuff if I send a missile out there my missile is going to get shot down so I'm not playing that game okay Deploying the chaff, nose straight to the ground. Alright. Good to go. Stand by on the jammer and use that energy to get back up. Yeah, you can see that was two missiles on me. I don't know where that last missile is from. It's not the tour. There's no way you could see me at back then. Yeah, look, he shot at somebody up above. Fantastic. Not me. Uh, that's several missiles. I don't know exactly how many missiles the tour has, but it's a more than a dozen, I think. Just gotta be careful here because I don't have much speed. The 15's on the uh, RWR, which means that he can see me. And who, look at that missile. It's a plane, dead. Oops, oh shoot, they're firing at me. Fuck. That was the RT shooting at me. So I saw that uh, contrail, or whatever you want to call it. Um, engine wise, I'm good. I already had an issue. Man, this airplane takes a beating. My my wheel was already damaged. My performance is still the same cuz I've I've got everything. I'm going to cheat here. Look at that. It's still good. It's still good. Gonna come back up here again. Give me some more. There's my threat. Two of them the RT and the Tor 15. I don't know where that one came from. I want to come back up to see if I can see, see a smoke trail. I'm going to go into safer skies here. You can see there's some kind of just an S. And to be honest, I don't know which one uh, of an S. 
trying to get that TGP back on the, the tour. Hmm. Okay, the RT is... Is tracking me again. The the last pass, the... Uh, Laser 11, one, one, Victor 2 one's with you. Uh, we got uh, multiple hostiles, uh, bad. He's not tracking me. I'm wondering if he's out. I'm gonna send one of those guys in. I'm gonna separate a little bit. Make sure that I do this properly. It's optically guided, so that means we need to see the target. Uh, laser squeak is still up. There's the... Is that the RT? No. It's the Tunguska, I guess. I think. I'm probably wrong. Alright, let's uh, fuel state 3.6. Just tons of gas. TGP's pointed back there. Behind the hill. We're separating over Lar. This is going to be a southwest to northeast pass. Uh, I th don't want to travel over the berms, but those two systems have to die. So on the same pass, I'm going to try and, and hit both of those vehicles. Distance to target, three some odd miles. And apparently there's a system just out in here somewhere. Nice piece of sky there. Let's grab it. Let's get above the clouds. All this. Fantastic. Where are ya? Where are ya? There's the road. There's the bad guy. M. Point track mode. Check. Nose on target. Mav. Good. Zoom in. Ah, oh, fuck. That's not it. Rifle. Don't want to get sucked in here. Warning, autopilot. Okay. Support that. Chaffin, I got my jammer setting. Uh, you know what? He's probably shooting my missile. That's what he was doing. That gonna work? Yeah, it's gonna work. Fucking sweet. Warning, autopilot. Who's shooting? Uh, 
Is there another player up here? There's got to be. Who's up here? Yeah, look at this guy. He's doing some work there. That's fantastic. All right, then. If that's the case... One, one, take a cut, one, one, two, copy. We can help each other out. He's working that area there. Uh, triple A. Okay, back on here. Now there was a like a SAM system out here. But where? What's that? It's toast. Something here. Or to triple A or it's peace, that's fine. It's fine for now. More triple A. Uh huh. Well, really busy in there. That's way over there. <clears throat> but there was a some kind of a SAM system somewhere. Rifle Alpha Tunguska. Trying to get a nice, nice view here. All right, I can work with this. Some black hot. Okay. I thought there was another SAM system kind of like all by itself in here somewhere. not it's fine that's my target there but there's that triple a piece look at that All right. this this stuff has to die so that's gonna be an easy kill uh, okay five miles away and then what do I want to do with this I'll send this guy out ah shit yeah, fuck something up here. Nope. Let's get out of here. Messed up my, uh, resetting the gimbal for the Maverick. My TGP moved, even though it wasn't soy. I'm not a pilot. I'm not the best at this. But I know where I was going was a dangerous place. Alright, Maverick. Yeah, do that. And then this guy. I'm gonna put it back on my target. There's an RT out there. It sucks. That's not good at all. <coughs> Excuse me. Why is this thing on gimbal limits? Ah, oh, there you go. Alright, should be good. Let's turn in. Nice and gentle. And cut the power back. 
I know my target set is somewhere in there. Oh yeah. Alright, let's go. Where is it? Where's that big hot spot? There we go. Okay, find track mode. Shoot. Rifle away. That's dead. Um, I'm gonna keep this last one on. I'm gonna go into land now. This helo is doing all kinds of great work. Declare emergency into LAR. And I'm gonna have to take several minutes to um, rejig. So obviously I need to fix this A10. Target destroyed. That's three of them. That's beautiful. Great. What I'll do for this last one, just to get up there, is I'm just going to put on one GBU-31 so I'm not too, too heavy. One by A10 declaring emergency LAR. Runway uh, 27. Gears down. Three green, but I might have like a huge failure. Half flaps, full flaps. Yeah, it shows like I got three green, but uh, we'll see. Really hope this uh, gear doesn't collapse on me. That would suck. Okay, let's put the speed brakes back in. I made an announcement. I don't think it was on the uh, ATC channel. So I just pop some altitude, flares altitude. if anyone's looking at me. It's a shame to fly all this time and then you ruin your day or someone else's day on this. Some people put an insane amount of dedication into all this. Okay, pull the power back, three degrees. So a few more flares. Nice and easy for that landing gear. All right. Ooh, shit. It doesn't sound shit hot. Get those speed brakes out. I definitely have a problem. Am I not able to... What's the problem here? <clears throat> oh, yeah. Front tire is shredded. Yeah, okay. Can I move? Not great. Shh. 
shit. Alright, alright, alright. I'm just gonna open up the uh, speed brakes so I can look big. What do I got for lights? Let's keep them uh, flashing lights. And then uh, ground crew. Electrical ground power. This is mildly embarrassing. Copy. Ground power is now on. All right, perfect. Ground power is on. Power down. And then uh, fuel-wise, let's go to back to 40%. Not a ton of fuel. Don't need it. We're going to be doing like some really short uh, jumps. Request refueling. Request Copy. rearming. Who's this guy again? Copy. Here? Highlander. Highlander, this is Boar uh, A10 in front of you on your nose. Radio check. Yeah, just wondering uh, with the Apache, uh, where I I know you got the Tunguska, I got the Tor 15. Did you get the RT in there by any chance? Gotcha, I got a Maverick remaining, but my intent for the next mission, once I uh, repair here, is uh, to drop a GBU-31 uh, penetrator on the building to the uh, village to the west by a couple of miles. So I'm just going to try and get above the threat. F8, and... Unable to comply. Why can't you repair me? Request repair. Unable to comply. So obviously right now, just got to rearm, repair, refuel. For uh, those that may be listening, uh, I'm new to the streaming stuff, but as a uh, retired Special Operations Forces operator and JTAC, if you got any CAS or JTAC questions, just let me know. Now's the time, because it's going to be uh, some dead air for a little bit while I repair. Okay, there's a repair. Both engines were out. Let's go uh, look at the macro picture. I'm down here at LAR, uh, rearming repair. Out uh, in this village here, we had all the AAA in the world, uh, Tor, Tunguska. Uh, my goal right now, though, is I'm going to repair and get a GBU-31 onto this building. Uh, there's still a lot of chaos in here, so I want to get up high. I'm going to take a 2,000 pound bunker penetrator with me. Very little gas, and then eventually I want to work into these buildings here. My fuel, uh, 40%. That's even a lot for what it is that I have to do. Um, I only have one Maverick remaining. So I'm going to keep that, uh, and on the adjacent one, I think I can put the bomb right here, GB31, right there. That should work pretty good. Yep. 
Yeah, that's all I'll do. What about a Mark 84 on the other one? Yeah, not just yet. Request rearming. <clears throat> Copy. Uh, DCS Ren, just uh, seeing your comment there. Yeah, I re really appreciate that. Um, if you're learning, then fantastic. I'm, I'm still learning how to potentially make content. This is just because I enjoy this. Uh, but some of the content that I do, I work more today with real pilots or pilots that are getting to their CAS portion. Uh, and especially JTACs, uh, European JTACs especially. And uh, guys in Canada and a couple in the States. Um, you know, the, I think the challenge that I have is coming and being institutionalized from the, the military and soft background is identifying what it is that I have to give to civilians that enjoy playing this. So there's, there's definitely a piece that I'm missing. Uh, but if you're getting something out of it, then fantastic. And, uh, you know, never hesitate to, to ask, Hey, you know, how's this done? I don't understand these things. Uh, for me as an ex JTAC instructor, I get a kick out of it. Um, so yeah. Glad you're loving the content. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Brand new jet. Doing the startup. I have no idea why the jet flies. In time and space like that, but it does. Okay. Engine one, we're starting that up. Fantastic. We're gonna go into load the Dismas while we're doing this in the same time. GPS should not be an issue. Uh, but I think I'll have to start my Maverick again. Yeah, there's that 31. Fantastic. And the Maverick is on. Okay, we're good to go. Um. Engine number one. Good. All set. And then number two. Bam. Let's do that. Now hopefully, because I pulled off on the grass a little bit, everything's going to be fine. Okay, speed brakes, half flaps, takeoff trim was set. I've got the ammo that I want. I'm going to cheat with the F10 map here because I need to rejig where I'm at. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, midfield. There's no air players coming around. Two choppers dealing with that stuff, which is great. Nose wheel steering engaged. Uh, two strong engines. APU off. Ah, yes. All right, back in business. I was really worried about, like, one of those DCS-isms. Like, I know I shouldn't be on the runway doing a repair, but I had to bring in this bird from Lar. Or, sorry, Kish. Kish to Lar. There's been a C-130 coming in here and resupplying, but not with the stuff that I wanted. So I brought in five GBU-31s, and uh, so I'm going to have to do a bunch of close air support or strike missions um, before I make the terrain. What's the word I'm looking for now? Permissible for myself. Okay. Have a quick look. I see no other air players take off. Is 
So what I want to accomplish is I've got a big heavy bomb, but just one. A missile if I need it. I'm going to keep that guy steering wheel off, steering engage off. But I need to get altitude, and I'm going to drop that JDAM right on top of the building, and I hope that just one of the penetrators does it for this uh, building. It's not a bunker. It's just like a 1970s shag carpet type building. Okay, wheels up. Stay on heading. Flaps up. And let's just get some speed first. Fantastic. <clears throat> right? Put the nose up for five degrees. I'm just going to stay in this valley. Separate east, and then when I come back towards the west, uh, my TGP, which is on the right side right there, uh, will be able to acquire the target. And I think I really want to achieve like a good... You know, if I can get to 20,000 feet, that's what I'm going to do. These two guys here, these choppers are dealing with stuff. What's this guy using? 154s? Fantastic. Yeah, so I got people working. And then I got some cap way out here. Fantastic. Zero seven nine for eighty. <laughs> Excuse me. So that's right in front of me. That's not good. So we'll keep uh, we'll keep an eye on that guy. Zero seven nine for eighty. That sucks. We can be here pretty fast. Ren, I saw you got a, a note there. Just give me a second to rejig my aircraft. I'll be able to get to you in a second. I want to stay above LAR as much as possible while I elevate her up. Um, just because it'll have limited defenses. Us calling station, uh, who's at the four again? Loud clear. That was for you, one one one. Be advised, I believe the RT system is well active inside of the uh, tank overhaul facility. It did shoot down the other budget that pushed past. Yeah, that sucks. Okay. All right. Ren, cool to see that you're from Brazil, man. I don't think I know a soul from there. And uh, just looking at, uh, well, Ren, uh, glad that uh, you, you guys find it useful. Like, uh, there's the Discord, if you've got that. And there's tons of JTACs that uh, I allow to kind of moderate in there. There's a really a big wealth of knowledge, and everyone loves to help each other. Like, it's a total safe space for that. Times uh, for Belial, um, the whole thing with JTAC, once upon a time, when I did my course back in 08, was uh, forward air control. So let me go back into the plane here before I crash. Um... So just to answer your first question, forward air control or FAC is what it used to be called. And these days, it's all uh, JTAC. So the reason for JTAC is joint. The J and JTAC is joint. And you're not only doing forward air control, but you're also doing artillery, um, doing naval gunfire, which I've been able to do. And uh, you could even do a five line for a Tomahawk cruise missile out of the uh, submarine if you wanted. Uh, and it's all in the J pubs, right? 
or sorry, the J fire. Um, so as long as you got the radio communications and you uh, you think your plan through, you can do all of those things. So I, I think to answer your question, the the most challenging that I've gotten to before, Com check, Teddy traffic, is uh, artillery with naval gunfire and close air support coming off of a carrier on San Clemente Island, just off the coast of uh, San Diego. Uh, but you know, you, you don't just show up and Com do this stuff. Tech, you, you can do that, but so that it's fast and loud and clear. Uh, so that it's fast Thank you. and proficient. There's a lot of planning that can go into this stuff. Just give me a second, I'll get to your other note there that you had. 15,000 feet. Uh, no air threats really coming anytime soon. I need to put this at about 2-3 uh, degrees so I can keep increasing a little bit of speed. So my climb's just going to be a little bit less now. Lots of fuel. Let's see here. Teddy traffic, Thunderfish 1 1, taxi to Cat 1. Belial, uh, like, if that's how you pronounce the name, I hope so. Uh, thanks so much for that. I'm, I'm really glad that you find the video interesting. Um, a lot of people that are professionals get back to me. And so, if ever you guys have any questions, like, now's this thing that I'm trying to start is when I'm just. You know, blown off steam before I've got things to do later this evening up here in Canada. Uh, like, I can talk while while I do this stuff and still have a blast at the same time. And so I think it's surprising where civilians and military people uh, find these gaps in knowledge. And um, so that's why I'm not afraid of, of asking people's questions. Like, I... I don't think like you guys do, depending on what your education was and what your uh, lifetime experience is. Hope that makes sense. I get a blast out of doing this. Yeah, we're going to go up to 2,000 feet. This is working out really well for me here. There's the target. Let's cheat. F10 map. Look at that. There's an F18 in there. He's at 21,000, and no one's engaging him. That Apache that used to be here, though, he's dead. I'm going to be really curious to see what happens to this guy. Because he's going over the threat area, and if no one fires up at him... That means 20,000 is safe. And anyways, for me though, let's focus in on this. All right, there's our target. And I hope that one JDAM does the job. 18,000 feet, Dismiss, 31 selected, good to go. Yeah, I think by the time we get there, we're gonna be nice and close to that 20,000 feet. I want to aim for the bottom of this, just because the Pickle times two, Delta Hill. computer doesn't see the building. It sees the ground. It sees planet Earth. Let's start operating this. Yeah, 47 seconds. Who am I being pinged by here? And are they aiming for me? Yeah, it's not a great feeling. 30 seconds to weapons release, which sucks. Jammer's on. Doing a little bit of chaff. 13 seconds to weapons release, which is a great news story. There's my 20,000 feet. I'm going to level off. And I'm aiming for the lip, the bottom lip of the building, because there's a release. Okay, let's get out of here. I'm aiming for that bottom lip, just because the laser goes through the building. The laser does not know 
that what I'm feeding the GPS guided munition is actually there. It goes through the building and sees the ground behind it. So on that angle, I wish I could show you now because I can't. It was just there for a second. We'll see where the... Uh, let me trim the bird, get through the bomb here. There we go. So the laser, if you look at the building right now, the bottom of the... Uh, um, the gray rectangle. The laser should be going through it. So that's in an effort to grab the ground that's in the middle of the building. So I'm hoping that's where the JDAM is going to strike. And hopefully it just takes one of these. Yes. Perfect. C is a P. Still shows, but that building is dead skis. All right. Um, we can stop operating this. And I've got an AGM. What I want to do is definitely take care. It's a threat 100 miles out. What I definitely want to do is look for that RT system. These things are a massive hindrance. We gotta get rid of them. The Tor is dead. The Tunguska is dead. But we gotta figure out where these threats are and so I can get my gun in there. For all the other smaller stuff. It's this guy. It's a juicy T-55 looks like. But not the priority. We could go gun on that all day long. These RT systems are a real pain in the ass. There's another tank. <clears throat> Was that said SU? Yeah. Not sure why those vehicles are on fire. That guy's dead. One of the things I love to preach on this, like real life, is changing the polarity when you're looking at all this. Our eyes are designed to see things that move, or uh, we catch on to things that move. Slow down the plane here. And so by changing the polarity between white hot and black hot, able to maybe get the eye to catch on to something different that you wouldn't have uh, originally before. This works especially well. What's this? It's a bush and a tree. Or on a rooftop. This works especially well when you're following a human being walking in in the brush. You can easily lose a guy. Uh, walking around. There's a soft skin vehicle. But if you're changing from white hot to black hot as the individual's maneuvering through bush uh, or trees you're you're able to distinguish the shape of the human being as he as he continues to walk through the bushes those guys are all dead okay it's possible this rt is dead i just don't want to find the hard way i've done too much solid work or decent work so far Oh, look at this guy. He's just hanging out. Like, no tactical reason to have him in there. Except cowardice. I'll have to get to him in a little bit. So still lots of work to do in this AO. The gun can really do a nice job in here. But again, it's that RT system. And at LAR, there's not a bunch of great aircraft to be had. Now somebody gunned down that pickup truck, which is fantastic. Guns are everyone's favorite weapon. I 
And I don't know what to do about this RT system. I know I'm going to find out the hard way. I hate this. Okay, tank. These are bushes. What's this? Another bush. That's fine. So what we're doing right now is NT-ISR, non-traditional ISR. Look at this. Oh, that looks like a friendly. Is there a friendly there? Yeah, there is. Check them out. All right. Well, I'm overhead. Boar, go for, uh, go for Boar. Copy, just be advised, I see a LAV 2.5 in the cohort, and there is, I'm about to do a gun run here, uh, there is a APC in the middle of town, and also some softkin vehicles, and on the west side, I still believe that there are a couple tanks there. Alright, so the tank's not right away. Uh, let's go with what we got here first. There it is. Okay, there's my uh, first target. Okay, boar's gonna be in. It's uh, gonna be uh, roughly danger close where the LAV-25 is going. If the LAV-25 can hear me right now... Warning, autopilot. Uh, just continue uh, northbound. Or's in from the east. Okay, uh, visual left to five. Visual friendlies, tally target in from the west, not the east. Nightmare one moment's position, up. Mark, with smoke. Visual off south. Nightmare, be advised, uh, gonna do another attack, it's gonna be a south to north, uh, T-55, main battle tank on the west side of town. That APC is KIA, center of town, the, the last hit. Alright, now we're doing some fucking work. Nightmare, one, one Roger. Uh, just be advised, Boar took a hit, uh, Sam system in the uh, most southern village. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can still provide a uh, gun run here on uh, south to north uh, supporting Nightmare. Okay, that's the guy I want right there. T-55 should be an easy day. But I've been wrong before. Let's get that. Those optics out of the way. There's the T-55. Really far away, like three miles. This is not good. Some chaff, just chaff and flares. I think that system is uh, optical guided, so my my systems do fuck all for it. And from the south. Pull up! Pull up! Altitude, altitude, pull up, pull up. Off east. 
One by MBT remaining northeast quadrant of that uh, village. Altitude, altitude, pull up, pull up. Okay, use the energy, get back up. That uh, next vehicle, let's get the crosshairs or the TGP on it. He's up in there somewhere. It's a bigger vehicle. Yeah, I took damage, but uh, I'm in an A-10, so pretty lucky so far. I want to be careful how I attack this guy. So I, that village right there has got the fucking the threat. Where are you? Oh yeah, there he is. Nightmare, be advised that uh, main battle tank has got its uh, smoothbore cannon trained in your di general direction. Yeah, Nightmare 1-1 uh, swinging at him, backed up. Uh, be advised, it's uh, now looking back at me, so uh, yeah, it's uh, you had his attention for a moment. I'll give him the few armor piercing rounds I have. Raj, uh, just because of uh, his ascends pointed towards the northeast, I'm gonna try a uh, get a side profile on him. It's gonna be a uh, southeast to northwest attack. I'm not sure those rounds did anything but piss him off. Yeah, absolutely. Keep him busy. I've had a BMP relocate. Rifle MBT Delta or Correction Alpha. Night Barrel Mines engaged to destroy BMP. Confirm that rifle was on the uh, northeast quadrant of the village. Uh, negative, uh, the southeastern quadrant. Copy, thank you. Boar is in from the uh, southeast. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get out of there. All right, I'm gonna fill this guy up. Pull up, pull up. Pull Off up, east. Pull up. Something else shooting at me. What was that? Nightmare be advised uh, when I was off, that main battle tank is, uh, I believe, KA standby. Yeah, confirmed. He's down, but he's got two friends. Yeah, something was shooting at me there. Be careful. Let me rejig and uh, I'll see what's out there. I know there's a couple soft skin vehicles. Easy day for you. Just want to be careful about that village. All my crosshairs now. Alright. I should be able to look here for a second. Okay, he's got a legitimate, like, tank there. 
So we'll just actually use our rifle on him. Okay, Boar's in uh, with a uh, rifle on this uh, tank. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, yeah. Uh, do it. Uh-huh. Yeah, do it. Good luck, rifle away. What I got down there? Why'd I get a warning? Right wing pump. sure if I got that guy. I think I was too close and the weapon may have missed. Yeah. Nightmare be advised, uh, my AGM missed. All I've got is uh, 80 rounds of 30 millimeter remaining. Well, I can try. It's not gonna go shit hot. I'm gonna get in really nice and close, and if that ends the fucking live stream, then so be it. Where is he? Show him. The second fire right there. Alright. Is going to be coming in uh, east to west attack. Just want to get his rear end as much as possible. Where's our friendly? Okay, let's get in town. Boar's in hot. 30 Mike Mike. Where are you? Wings level, visual friendly is tally target. Visual flirts. Pull up, pull up. Jesus. Pull up, pull up. Off north. Pocket looks like good hits, no way. Target destroyed. Boar is uh, Winchester RTB. Good luck down there. In that northeast quadrant, I know I saw some kind of a cylinder truck. Um, looked like it was some kind of a hostile player. Uh, but. Uh, don't know if I saw anything else that was actual uh, capable of defending itself. <clears throat> so got a right wing pump warning. I'm not sure what that means because the engines are healthy. Let's stop this. Yeah, still got my lights on. Um, yeah, that's looking really good. And there's no air players down here, which is great. And I can rejig. What's happening to that big ass building that we dropped on? Like, it's, it looks like it's disappeared. So, anyways, we'll see what time it is once I land. If I can keep uh, the show going. Pistol pops up.
Gonna come down in here. Might as well practice the overhead break. Pull up. Pull Runway up. Runway two seven. That means the back bearing is going to be zero nine zero. Have a look down there. A couple choppers spooling up. No fast players. Alright, in the break. Whoops. Let's try and keep two degrees. Or sorry, two G's. I'm so light. 2.2 on gas and Winchester. Looking for 090. Once I get uh, below 200 knots, we'll get the gear down. It's going to be a nice landing compared to the last one. 